Three, two, one, go shoot. Bro, what the fuck are you doing? What do you mean, Steve? I'm playing Blade Blade. You gotta stop. Why? Because it's cringe, Crow. Honestly, I'm surprised it lasted this long. But you need to come back to Gundam. No, nah, man, why would I want to come back to Gundam? Like, this is cool. Like, this is honestly amazing. It's battles, it's high intensity. You meet a lot of great people. Crow, shut the fuck up. Just get back to what you was doing previous. I, I don't know what your end game is with Beyblade. But honestly, it needs to stop. We're, we're truly worried about you. So what do you want me to do? You want me to come back to the Gundam YouTube channel like nothing ever happened? That, that's exactly what we want you to do. And what am I gonna review? You can review Gunpla, like you always have. There's nothing I really wanna review right now. Plus, I mean, you got a bunch of people reviewing all the latest Gundam model kits, so you honestly don't need me at this point. Crow, who the fuck do we have reviewing model kits? I don't know, you got Mechagai Kotsu, you got Zakarielis, um... Yeah, the same motherfuckers has been doing it since you left. Honestly, just get back to Gundam. How about Gundam Universe? Ugh, I don't know about Gundam Universe. You'd actually have to ask the other crow. The other what? Was that a, was that a yes? Yeah, you should be good with it. Alright, so let's go ahead and um, let's review another Gundam Universe figure. And so here we have a Gundam Universe review. This one is going to be on the Gundam Aerial. I think it came out about September time frame. Yeah, it's another Gundam Universe figure. So let's just jump into it. The front cover art is very beautiful. And this is just one of my favorite things about the Gundam Universe line is that they really have good illustrations for the cover art. So yeah, I wish I can get like a rip of all these illustrations and maybe, you know, put them on my background on the phone. This is Gundam Universe number 27. That's actually a lot. I didn't think there was that many, but God, there is a lot of Gundam Universe figures already. So here on the back, we have some just dynamic poses and everything. And honestly, so far, this doesn't look that bad. Obviously, the articulation is always gonna be kind of like iffy. It's always eh, not the greatest, but I mean, from what I'm seeing, this doesn't look horrible. You're gonna have the Shining Gundam, you're gonna have uh, the Gundam Bar Batos Lupus Rex, and Tall Geese 2 all in the same lineup. So let's go ahead and crack this open. Okay, so real quick overview from two different perspectives. One, as a model kit builder predominantly, I don't think this looks that great. Just immediately out of the box, I didn't really play around with it. I just, initial thoughts, it doesn't look that great. But as a person who would have never ventured into the model kit community and just never built models and really just is a very casual figure collector of certain franchises that they adore, this isn't bad, all right? It's a pretty good representation of the Gundam Ariel. I just feel very sorry for people who don't really get into the model kits because I think you have a much better representation of what you love in that kind of realm. Or the high-end figure community like the uh, Ver Anime uh, Robot Damashis. Those are amazing. But this, I guess for the dollar value, I, I, I paid about, what, 15 bucks for this? That price isn't horrible for what you're getting. It's not that bad. But honestly, you could do better. So looking at the head first, the sculpt actually doesn't look too bad. And the articulation overall is actually pretty decent. It has a pretty good range of move, uh, movement overall. So nothing really to complain about when it comes to the head. Now next for the body, obviously I have a problem with this just being like all solid black. It's like not translucent or anything. It's just, it's just black. So I kind of wish they did something a little bit more with that. Maybe have some you know, the red hues in there, or I don't know, man, maybe something. And obviously the uh, torso, waist over here, this is just like really just bad. It's as bad as, it's not as bad as the Barbatos, but it's pretty bad just cause it's like really chunky and short. So I wish this part right here was a little bit more slim uh, just to kind of replicate uh, the actual like aerial a little bit more. And same problem with the backpack, it's just a black piece right here. And for these beam sabers, you actually don't get any beam saber effect parts. You just get uh, this, which is horrible. Like, come on guys, this is, this is weaponry right here. This should have been the easiest thing to have. Just 
just beam effect part, whatever. Uh, and then you, obviously you have a plug right here so you can plug like the shield and stuff to the back of it. Now for the arms, they're just arms. There's honestly not really anything special going on with these. Just goes up and down, the shoulder pads can go up. Once again, all solid black piece, go front and backwards. But I mean, honestly guys, you're really not getting anything crazy when it comes to the G, uh, the G Universe line. So yeah, it is what it is. And honestly, I'm just now noticing this, I guess because of the lighting in my house or whatever. Uh, but there's like this weird tape here and I didn't really notice that before. So yeah, that came with the figure. That's not something I added to it. So yeah, that was weird. Sorry about that. Now for the ways the design overall is fine. The articulation, it's okay. I mean, it goes up and down. So uh, Ariel really doesn't have much going on in the uh, waist area, so that's fine. Now for the legs, once again, black pieces that are not clear and really should have been, uh, but you get a decent range of motion, I guess, for uh, a pretty cheap figure. And forward, ugh. Oh, it doesn't feel good at all to move this thing. It, ugh. Yeah, it's pretty, that's pretty much it. That's all you're really getting right there. Uh, and then backwards, uh, not really a whole bunch because it's just so fat up here that it's kind of uh, blocking the actual movement. Now you can actually pull this down to give it a little bit of extra movement and range, but it's really still gonna keep getting blocked right up there as you can see. So it's hitting that and it's not really getting that range of motion it needs. For the knee bend, got two points of articulation here and here, so that's about the most you're getting. And for the foot, honestly, front, back, side to side, it's not really like horrific, it's not too bad at all, so I'll take that. The legs overall are pretty much fine on this figure. It's not really like too bad. I just kind of wish that the range of motion was a little bit better in the articulation. You are gonna get two hands basically to hold uh, the gun and the other one, I guess, any accessory, but it doesn't really have any other accessories outside of the one gun. You get a stand adapter. You get a beam rifle, which is all molded in one color um, and does not have the actual effect parts, so that kind of sucks. And you're also gonna have the shield. And this is my main gripe, is like they really don't give you a lot for what you're paying. I mean, you're paying for an upscaled figure that isn't actually in scale with anything, it's just six inches. It's like, why couldn't they have this all separate? I mean, I, it does, I don't know. I feel like this could have been uh, something very, very easy to do. Uh, the high grade made it very, very easy as well. So uh, this is definitely uh, just, a, I don't know, just a disappointment overall. Uh, it does have a peg right here, um, so if you do want to peg it in, uh, you can peg it into the backpack or onto the forearm, and it does have a little bit of articulation with that ball joint. Other than that, it's, it's a shield. They didn't even bother to color the inside of here uh, black, so I, I don't know. It's just not great quality. So here are my final thoughts on this figure. Honestly, it's just not really worth getting if you are into the plamo like side of things you just build the model kit. So you probably already have the high grade or you might have the full mechanics. Just keep those. Those look amazing, paint them, customize them. It's just a much better time to build the kits than to buy this and have, I guess, a representation of the Aerial Gundam, but it just looks really wonky and it doesn't really have all the colors like popping and I don't know, it's just not a proper representation. And if you do want figures, just maybe save a little bit extra money and go for the Ver anime figure because that one has all the gimmicks that are with the aerial. So you actually have the gun bits and you know you have all the necessary things that you like to see on the aerial that's represented in those figures. Or even the Chigokin, that's relatively cheap now. I see it for maybe 10,000 yen, 9,000 yen. So very affordable in Japan right now. So maybe you can go into some um, you know, websites like buy and all that and you can cop it there. Honestly though, it, it's, it's whatever you want with your money. I'm not gonna dictate what you should or should not buy. Y'all just know my feelings when it comes to the Gundam Universe line and it's usually not favorable. So that's pretty much it guys. That's all I have to say about this figure. Cop it if you want or not. I'm gonna say it's a drop it, not a cop it. But that's it for me guys. Thank you all for watching. And honestly, I really need to come back to this channel and just post way more because doing it like every like few months is just not good. It's not, it's not 
what I really envision for this channel and I keep telling myself I'm gonna just really come back and I'm gonna go really hard in 2027 but I shouldn't have to wait to you know 2027 to actually make this channel bigger and better than what it was I should just start now and if that means going back to the you know original style of reviews then I'm gonna go back to the original style of reviews and I'll start working my way you know, back to that stage to where I can be more creative with like the safety um, inspection videos, which I truly love. That's my favorite, favorite format of Gundam reviews, but I shouldn't have abandoned the traditional setup. So I'll come back and I'll definitely make more videos here and there. Unfortunately, I am gonna be going to Okinawa for about two months. So that's gonna like ruin kind of a little bit of what, I, what I'm doing right now. But hopefully while I'm there, I can actually pump out a couple of videos and such, but uh, that's it for me guys. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.